Paul, or a co-worker of Paul who wrote in his name, is a Jew and is writing to the Christians who live in Ephesus, at that time a Greek city, which is in present-day Turkey. He seems to be primarily addressing fellow Jewish Christians, re reminding them that non-Jews, Gentiles, are members of the same body of Christ and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. It may not seem that big of a deal to us, but that was very, very radical at that time. Jews and Gentiles did not mix at all. They held each other in great suspicion. They had little contact with one another. Really, the message is still radical today. People of different races, nations, customs from all over the world are members of the same body as Catholics and Christians. In fact, we can go even deeper. Every human being in this world, by, being created, by virtue of being created in the image and likeness of God, the one God, the same God, is connected to one another, even to our so-called enemies. Every human being is connected by God. When the pandemic, pandemic surged last March in different parts of the world, I often heard people say on TV, radio, or other media outlets, we are in this together. Now, through the course of the pandemic and the election cycle, it didn't feel like we were in this together at all. Conspiracy theories, undocumented and unfounded medical claims, so doubt and fear among many, and then also, all of a sudden it seemed like we're taking sides. I felt it right here in the Five Saints community. People disagreed with how the diocese and our local implementation measures for safety were and are carried out. Then add to that, the diocese plan for Five Saints and Blessed Trinity parish groupings to merge into one parish caused even more anger, division, and, and disbelief. So the mass, which is the ultimate unifier that Christ gave us, has actually become a platform for disunity. The diocesan approach to deal with the critical shortage of priests has become a platform for disunity. This is a sinful reality against God's vision and desire for us to be one in and through Christ. But it's not the sin of one side or the other. It's a sin we all share. It is a difficult reality that we have to deal with because disunity is not God's will. I can say that absolutely. That is the gospel. He desires for us to be one. Doesn't mean we have to agree with one another, but he desires us to be one. So I, for one, need to respect those who choose not to come to mass because we require people to wear a mask. I don't agree with them, but I have to respect them. They are still my brothers and sisters, and I'm still their pastor. I gave an honest attempt to appeal the decision to move St. Joe to a status of a church building. It was turned down. Now I must do everything I can to move forward to this new reality of one parish for all of Kasuth County and West Bend. Our leaders here, Whittemore, West Bend in particular, need to really make a special effort to reach out to those from St. Joel, to invite them into our ministries, into our groups, so they, don't, they can continue to feel part of our faith community. Those in the north, of course, have to reach out to those at Sacred Heart in Ledger. Disunity is not God's will. We have to ask ourselves, how can we be there for one another, listen to one another, and move forward with one another, even if we do not agree with everything that is happening. Each of us obviously is gonna to have to give a little and step up to the challenge. Also knowing that some things cannot be changed. Just remember always, and as you work with your families, friends, coworkers, God desires unity. That doesn't mean uniformity, but it does mean unity.